All right, today I just want to do a little book review. <clears throat> this one is A Hero of Our Time by Mikhail Lermontov. Geroi Nashova Vremini in Russian. <clears throat> I read it in English because I can't read this in Russian. I can barely read anything in Russian. Um, this is actually the second time I've read this book. <clears throat> it won't be the last. Um, I think it was at least five years ago, um, the first time I read it. And, um, I've only really been reading, uh, steadily for about 10 years. <clears throat> it might've been longer ago than five years when I, when I read this. Um, but the point I'm getting at is I got much more out of it this time around. I think I've grown as a reader vastly since my first read. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I was just able to, uh, comprehend it a lot. I think I got a lot of the, um, what, what do you call them, references, and um, just an overall uh, much better experience. And I remember thoroughly enjoying it the first time I read it, which is interesting. I did enjoy it <clears throat> very much, this second read, um, although, yeah, it's hard to say. In some ways, I, I liked it more than I expected I would, and in other ways, it did let me down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so it kind of follows... Uh, this main character, Pechorin, Pechorin, um, Grigory Alexandrovich Pechorin. Um, that's the guy's name. Uh, many people suspect that it was a uh, semi autobiographical so that um, uh, Lermontov was kind of writing about himself. <clears throat> this was the only novel he uh, wrote, by the way. He was a poet. He died when he was 26 in a duel. Um, it's like a romantic novel, uh, it, meaning it, um, falls within the romantic movement. Um, <clears throat> Byron is, is, um, mentioned quite a bit. So back to, um, Pechorin, who, uh, many suspect was, um, kind of based off of the main character. Now, Limrontov disputes that in the, in the preface, um, I think, he originally did not write um, the preface for this book, but um, after all these, I don't know if you call them accusations um, or what, um, <clears throat> but after everyone kind of thought that he, the Patron was based off of him, he, he wrote it into maybe the uh, second edition. Um, and what he did write was that Patron was kind of a composite of all um, the evils of Russia. Um, <clears throat> so you, you can tell that Petron's not a very likable character. I tend to think he was a little bit um, writing autobiographical from the little I do know about um, Lermontov. I think he kind of idolized like Byron and all these romantic figures. And um, this was kind of his way of kind of saying what he really felt about the world in, in some ways. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll grant that... Um, Maybe he was just trying to create um, an evil character. So Petrorin is uh, very charismatic, maybe narcissistic, nihilistic. Um, he's just in it for the thrill. He has a lot of these very interesting philosophical musings, which kind of ring true to me um, in some ways. Uh, he, he doesn't care about anyone besides himself, I think. I think I said narcissistic, so it's the same thing. But there's so many quotes in here that, like, are really interesting to me. I think, was there one on the last page? That, or was it, um, it's a quite short read, by the way. It's 157 pages. And, um... Hopefully I can find this pretty quick. Well, anyway, as I look, so yeah, it's only about 157 pages and um, <clears throat> it, it all takes place in the Caucasus region, which is really cool, like Georgia, Armenia, Dagestan, Chechnya. Um, <clears throat> he, he's there, Petron is there, um, kind of as a, um, a soldier in, in some parts in it, like at other parts, he's there. Um, visiting this like medical spa um area and um yeah it's just like a kind of a dramatic tale some parts of it are very 
kind of hard to believe. Like there's a lot of overhearing of other characters saying things, which is able, uh, allows the plot to thicken, I guess. Um, so, you know, how often does that really happen? Oh, I, where th these characters coincidentally get to overhear um, thing after thing. Um, uh, but yeah, this is like a, a classic. This is a highly touted um, piece of literature in, in Russia. And um, it's really one of the only romantic novels that I can think of. I mean, the, the realist tradition, I, I think, is what uh, Russian literature is largely known for. I don't know what you would categorize Pushkin as. But, um, you know, after Lermontov, um, you got Turgenev. And um, the, the big ones would be um, obviously Dostoevsky and Tolstoy, who I think kind of fall under uh, realism, uh, which I, from what I believe kind of a reaction against uh, romanticism. Um, and then Chekhov, obviously. And then uh, then you have the Soviet Union, socialist realism and all that. <clears throat> wow, I'm really not going to find this quote, are, am I? It's very, it was very simple. Um, but there's many, there's many throughout, uh, uh, the book. It, it's quite, quite a witty, uh, novel. So, um, I'm definitely going to read this again. I, I recommend it to anybody who is interested in, um, Russian classics. Um, Anybody who's interested in uh, romanticism, Byron is um, referenced quite quite a bit. So yeah, so I, I do tend to think that Lermontov was um, kind of an admirer of Byron. He wanted to to be like Byron. If anyone's familiar with um, *Crime and Punishment* by Dostoevsky, um, there's a lot of elements uh, of Raskolnikov in um, in Pechorin, especially early Raskolnikov, kind of like. He wants to be this great figure, but um, I think he's kind of given up on his ambition and he is now um, um, indifferent to uh, to becoming great, I guess, partially because of the way that Russia is structured at, at this point in time. I think Nicholas I is emperor. Um, and so I think that's what the title kind of is implying, a hero of our time. So it's like somebody who wants to be a hero but is living this uh, time in in Russian history. Um, they just become indifferent maybe to becoming a, a romantic great figure and they just live for the thrill of things. I mean, he really, you know, will ruin other people's lives in this novel and um, the main character, Pachorn. And I don't want to really ruin any of the plot there's actually several plots it's almost like there's um one two three maybe four different stories um i'd say like there's like a novella in here with like three short stories but they're kind of chronological so it does sort of read like a novel but not really um but yeah it's quite easy read and um i recommend it i, I highly recommend it um the language is not overly flowery. It is pretty straightforward, easy to read. And um, I'll be reading this again at some point. So that's all.